this is Josh Hunter, presently in the city of Santa Monica, California. And, uh, <coughs> um, uh, yesterday I was thinking of, uh, <coughs> as you know, I, I, I try to prepare for any uh, anything that could possibly happen. I want to make sure that I'm fully prepared for. Or I do have a belief which says I should be prepared for uh, any and, uh, and every scenario. Or any and every scenario which is relevant to the things that I'm concerned with, uh, as well as where I believe that I'm going. And so yesterday I was thinking to myself, like, how do you know where you're going? Like, how do you, how do you define where you're going? How can you tell where you're going? You know, because um, you live your whole life and you live a certain way and you assume that you're going somewhere, right? I mean, the bodies are in motion. And as long as you're able to perceive motion, motion will continue to exist. I think a lot of people are afraid of there being no motion and, you know, just stillness. Um, but I think that's not possible as long as you're aware of motion. And I don't know if I already said this. I did say this out loud, but this is my second time saying it out loud and I'm recording it now. Normally I don't rehearse and I mean, I don't like when I make with you one of these videos, I'm not like sitting down with a pen and paper saying, oh, let me fucking say this shit. <laughs> As I go throughout my day, I pay attention to what is important to me and what isn't. And I try to remember the things that are important, but I don't necessarily write it down. I want to make sure that I understand it so well that I know what to say at any given time. You see, because I'm constantly under some type of surveillance. There are literally uh, cameras, security cameras around me all the time. Uh, at every point of the 24 hours, I am somewhere where uh, a security camera is on and recording. Uh, by my understanding, uh, security cameras, the, the videos they record are there for about three months and then they're dumped. Generally speaking, that is my understanding of how long these recordings are kept. Um, but with uh, modern technology, they may, they may be deciding to keep them for longer. <coughs> um, so anyway, what inspired me to, to make this video is, uh, you know, in order to keep myself, like, sober, <laughs> uh, I try to think about it, because, you, you know, I, I do say this a lot, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not familiar with being in, in a relationship with, like, a woman. It scares me. So, <laughs> so I, uh, I um, thought to myself, I always assume that, because there's actually even one video where there's this guy, uh, I mean, there's one video that I made where I talked about this time, like, I had this electric lighter that I kept on me, because I thought, oh, I should be polite. If somebody asked me for a lighter, I should be polite and just have one. And then uh, one time I was, but I, Every now and then, I'll give this speech. Like, if someone asks me for a lighter, I say, don't you think it's inappropriate to be asking me for a lighter? Don't you know that cigarettes, all cigarettes do is kill? And so this guy comes up to me, and he asks me for a lighter. And then he, uh, he just has, uh, you know, but he has the scrubs on, like, from being a doctor. Uh, or some type of medical uh, professional. And he asked me for a lighter. Uh, and I said, I was about to give this speech, and then I realized, oh, this guy's a doctor. Uh, I guess, I don't know, it just seems like it would be wise <laughs> to just give him a lighter. I mean, if I had a lighter, it didn't... I, it would be wise to not go into a speech about why you shouldn't smoke. Like, if you're a doctor and you're smoking, like, that seems like you don't really understand. Like, you're too far gone. <laughs> like, you're not... You don't... You, like, a doctor who smokes is telling you something. Doctors are supposed to be concerned about your health, right? But they're not even concerned about their own health. So what kind of doctor are they? So I just gave him the lighter. Anyway, what, um... But as a, he was, like, a very good-looking person. Like, I don't mean, like, like I'm, you know, I don't mean, like, like an attractive, like... I don't mean, like, oh, you know, this guy. Like, I, I, like I wouldn't fuck him or anything. <laughs> But I just, I'm just saying, like, he was a very, he was, like, as far as uh, human males are, he, was, he had a very good look about him. And so, I was thinking to myself, like, if I was, like, if I liked a woman, and she liked me, but, like, she had to choose between me and this guy, 
I assumed that like she'd always choose this guy, and so that's what I I made this video. Like, I don't know, this is like some I don't know, this is back in I think it was before Christmas of 2019, maybe. And I said they're always gonna want to fuck this guy. Like if they have to compare me to him, like they're always gonna want to go for him, like the ladies, you know. And so I've been living with this for a while. I've made at least 30 sincere attempts. I, I made at least 30 attempts where I was like, I like this woman and I want her to know that I care about her and that I believe <laughs> in the possibility of us. <laughs> I believe in us. And 30 times the communications that I received was, you know, you're probably not, uh, this probably isn't for you and you're not, we, no, no, I don't, I don't, I'm not a fan. And that's fine. I, I process things pretty well. So, but I have always been aware of this relationship, meaning they're all like, like, okay, if you have to choose between me and this guy, okay, who is like what you are supposed to want, like what they say, like, oh, you want this. Like they always choose the thing that, or that they're told that they want or something. Or maybe that's what they do. And I don't know. What the fuck do I know? And, 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 oh, shit. So I was thinking today, some thought that had never fucking occurred to me was, what if, like, and so, for I'm not saying, like, exactly, but I want you to have a vision, like, a, and this pretty much works very well, I think. Like, if you had to choose, like, all right, who, who like, who, who do you want to be with? Like, this guy or, or Taylor Lautner? <laughs> you know, from, like, Twilight, okay? Like, like, Taylor Lautner with his shirt off or this fucking guy. <laughs> and I know, I know who I am in relation to this fucking guy. And so, I just always assume that it's like people are having to choose between Taylor Lautner and me, you know. <laughs> and so, I've never been in a situation where someone was like, oh, okay, you know, you're... I've never been like the, the Taylor Lautner in this situation. I've never been like Taylor Lautner with his shirt off in comparison to some other fellow. I've never... I mean, I don't believe that I've ever looked, I've ever looked that good <laughs> to anyone. Where someone was like, oh yeah, dude, you're fucking Taylor Lautner with his shirt off. Like, how fucking attractive. And so since I'm not aware of this, I, I want to make sure that I'm making decisions that are based upon reality. If I'm assuming that this isn't a possibility, then it, by necess necessity, my, my computations must be flawed. Okay, in an infinite series of events, there should be some scenario <laughs> where that occurs. But apparently, I mean, you know, I, I haven't come across it. I haven't even perceived it. Because I may be too confident in my own vision. I'm not saying that, oh, yeah, dude, I'm fucking, like, this great. You guys ought to see it. That's not what I'm saying. Because that's technically, to me anyway, a type of um, conceit. To, to believe that you are, you know, oh, like, I'm the best. <laughs> you know, I'm not saying that Terrell Lauder is the best. But I'm just saying the idea, the belief in your own superiority... Uh, regards to your uh, perception of yourself in comparison to someone else, I think. But um, my assumption and the general assumptions and perhaps even an unconscious su assumption that I make is that any given scenario where a woman has like, she's like, oh, who should I, who should I choose? You know, I never assume that like, you know, that I'm like the guy, like the more, the more desirable choice. I do not have this feeling, <laughs> oh, I'm the more desirable choice. And that's, that's, I don't have any proof of that. That's what eight years of homelessness tells me. Um, that I'm not in that, I'm not something that, like if Taylor Lautner was just like fucking sitting out <laughs> uh, homeless, like just out on the street with his shirt off, and he's like, oh dude, I can't make any money. Like I'm just, I'm just hanging out. You know, oh, what am I gonna do? Like how long would it take for him to get a fucking house? How long would it take? Okay, you, you think he would be waiting outside for eight years for someone to say, oh, oh, now I see, I, now I understand that you're, you you have worth, you have value. No, dude, he would be out here for like a minute. <laughs> 60 fucking seconds, especially, <clears throat> anyway, 60 fucking seconds. No, sorry. 60 seconds, and, and that would be it. He'd be fucking done. Okay, I've been out eight, here eight years, so that tells me what the community of Earth feels about me. Okay, that tells me, like, when any, any time somebody comes up to me, they're making a basic level of understanding or a basic assessment of me. And so, um, I'm assuming this because I constantly deal with the public and they're, I'm constantly, like, I see new people all the time. Every day I am seeing new people. Okay, I'm not at, in some situation where I'm constantly seeing, like, people who, who like and care about me. I'm constantly seeing new people who I don't know. 
and the first time these people see me, they do not have the opinion, oh, it's fucking Taylor Lautner with his fucking shirt off. <laughs> they don't say that. So I'm wondering, is this something that is an actual impossibility? Like as I'm saying, is there such a thing that like there is no situation where I am uh, the, 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 the Taylor Lautner with his shirt off? Yeah, with muscles and all, I think from like Twilight, okay? I mean like that level, because this video could have been around for like fucking like, like 80 years or something by this point. And Taylor Lautner, he may not like look <laughs> like that anymore. He may like be some like old fat guy, you know, like, and I don't know, maybe he, he, he stopped caring, maybe he gave up. I don't know how long this fucking video is gonna be around, so just in case. Referring to when he was in Twilight and fucking like, I remember like anytime like I'm like, a, anytime that movie is on and anyway, right? And I, I could feel like, you know, the ladies in the room, like, they get, you know, you get a little bothered, that type of thing. So I want to make sure, this would remind me of, that's so what I'm saying, this reminds me of, like, what my blind spot would be. Okay, if, like, if I could not see, like, because I was too over-concerned with not being perceived as being a conceited person. I don't want to be too over-concerned with saying, oh, I don't want to seem like I'm conceited. It's, uh, to me, like, the basic idea of, like, oh, like, I think I'm the shit, like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I don't want to believe that to such a degree as though I can't see the things that are important to me. That's why you need to know where you're going. You need to know what your direction is. And if you know where you're going, and you know how to prepare uh, for what will be there when you get there. You do that in steps. Each step you take has to go in some direction. And if you keep going in the same direction, you're going to get to whatever place that you want to go, I think. Because the body is always in motion. We perceive motion. Our eyes perceive motion. I don't know if our ears perceive motion. Or certain types of motion, anyway. I haven't defined motion. But uh, the dimensions of which, with which we're familiar. Because if you were, if in the first dimension, there is no perception of motion. There's just a single point. That's one dimension. That's, one, that's why they say when a person is one dimensional, it's like they're not moving. <laughs> A one-dimensional person is not like a moving person. It's just very easy to read, and, and, I, and I'm wondering, am I a one-dimensional person? And I just don't know it. You know, is it possible that I just think that I'm moving? I think that, because I can perceive physical motion, but what other types of motion can I perceive? And that's that's important to uh, take into consideration. Okay, what do we got here? Is it 12? Okay. Anyway, um... Like I said, my main tasks are the preservation of infrastructure, the preservation of needful structures, to contrive to never have to do anything, and to never become dependent upon guessers. And uh, I would still like to be, let me, let me give another advertisement. I want to be living indoors. I want, uh, <laughs> I want my own uh, room. The physical room and the physical house. Uh, I want like plenty of alcoholic beverages and television, free, all free, fully paid for by somebody else. And I don't, uh, I don't want anyone to. I, I want it to be irrevocable. I don't want there to be any situation where it's like, oh, we can take this away from you. I don't want that to be the condition. I want it to be like, okay, this is yours, and if we try to take it away from you, then we'll, we're gonna. We're not going to have so great a time. And so I'm, I'm trying to, uh, I want to make sure that I have a, a place where I can uh, live, where I'm shielded from the unlimited starlight that I am constantly having to process um, as a result of the structures that I, um, you know, the structures that I have, my perception of reality anyway. It's just nice to have a little shielding is all. I mean, it's a little, it's... Like, you know, you call it daytime and nighttime, and it's always daytime to me. Just because those stars are far away doesn't mean it's complete and total daytime. I mean, it's darkness because, you know, you, there, you believe that there is some area where th those stars are just so far away that you can't see them. But technically, the, the entire sky is filled with light. So they're just far away, and you can't see them. But if you, the, the amount of stars is, is unlimited. Okay. Anyway. I'm 33 years old, and I have the best grades on earth.